What's up guys and welcome back to another video covering Pokemon Z or the you know, the last game in Generation 6. We don't have an official announcement yet, we're just speculating at the moment. But what we're going to be talking about today is how many sequels are we going to get to X and Y? Are we going to get just Pokemon Z or are we possibly going to get two sequels, so as in one to X and one to Y, like we had for Black, White, Black 2, White 2? So that's what I'm going to be looking at here and seeing what the sort of the most likely option is and going through all the different things and how it might work. Obviously in the video the other day we saw an image of what may be a new Zygarde form, we don't know quite yet, we, all we saw was a very, you know, uh, well, was a silhouette technically, so we don't know if it is Zygarde, but it very likely is, we just can't sort of confirm anything yet. So, this would imply that we might get a Pokemon Z game as the final game for Generation 6. However, there is also the possibility we could get Pokemon XZ and Pokemon YZ or Pokemon X2 and Y2. Something along those lines, X squared, Y squared, something like that. Rather than having just the Pokemon Z, they could have incorporated the Z into the X, Z, X, Y, sort of linking it into chromosomes and stuff like that, because I think, you know, not too, too, not too brushed up on chromosomes and genetics, but I think that's a thing. But um, it could still be used anyway. Or X squared, Y squared would also quite work quite well in my opinion, um, rather than X2 and Y2, but we'll have to see. But those are the possibilities we're going to look at here. Either one game or two games. So, what we want to look at mainly here is the fact that Zygarde is going to get a new form or new forms. If it's just one new form, for example Mega Zygarde, or just you know a singular form, it's possible or most likely we're going to get a single a single sequel. If, however, we're going to get two new forms, it's very very likely that we're going to be able to get two new games. Much like back in Generation Five when we had not necessarily Kyrum Ky Ky getting two new forms, but getting two new alternates, I guess, Black Kyrum and White Kyrum. Obviously, linking to two games that wouldn't really work if you just had one game. Because what legendary or your what form, what legendary is going to be looked at most, I guess. So form-wise, in general, the reason we're so confident in Zygarde getting a new form is because, of many reasons really, one of the Pokédex entries to Generation Six in Pokémon X reads for Zygarde: When the Kalos region's ecosystem falls into disarray, it appears and reveals its secret power. Now, what does this mean? We know secret power. What does that mean? A, f a move? It most likely means a new form or mega evolution. Um, and this also links to the fact that Zygarde's base stats aren't amazing. They're alright, but they're not like you would expect any other trio master. Like Rayquaza's got really high stats. Um, you know, like, well, I, Ar you know Giratina is not really the trio master, but Arceus is the, the master of that trio, I guess. It's got higher stats, whereas Zygarde's just sort of mediocre for a legendary. It's nothing too special, so adding a new form or the mega evolution to it would allow it to be even more powerful. So it's very likely we're getting this new form. But one or two forms, who knows? Now, sometime, it was about a year ago, uh, I don't know quite how long ago, but two new moves were discovered in the code of XY, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. These two moves were known as Thousand Arrows and Thousand Waves. Both ground type moves, both base power 90, um, and generally, it was sort of like, okay, what are these moves? And they were fairly obviously well, they're, well, fairly obvious what these moves were. Now, Zygarde's signature move at the moment is called Land's Wrath. Yes, it's a ground type move because obviously Zygarde's pack ground type, and it has a base power of 90. So exactly the same as these two new moves here. They're both ground types, and because they're similar, you know, it's, it's very very likely just to make the connection and think right. Well, these are two new signature moves for Zygarde in two new forms. Of course, it could just have one singular form and have both of these moves available to it, but it would be much make much more sense if it had two forms, and then when it changed these in, into each form or Mega Evolved or whatever, the move Lands Wrath would either turn into Thousand Arrows or Thousand Waves depending on the form, and it would give you this sort of flexibility just to work with. So, what are these two new moves? You know, I, I mean, I've gone over it a bit, a bit on their own, but you know, there are some specifics, I guess. First up, looking at Thousand Arrows and a possible Thousand Arrows form. Um, it's a physical move, it's power 90, as I said, it's accuracy 100, and what the move does is it hits opposing Pokemon that are even in the air. So it's a ground type move that can hit Pokemon that are part flying type, it can hit Pokemon that have levitate, it can hit Pokemon that are I mean, affected by magnet rise or gravity, or gravity is the opposite, isn't it? But you get the idea. So anything that would usually make you immune to a ground type move, this move will counteract. And it also says here those Pokemon are knocked down to the ground. 
so it then makes them vulnerable to other ground type moves until they switch out. So say you've got a Pidgeot, you use um, Thousand Arrows to it, they then get knocked down to the ground and then you can Earthquake them the next turn. So it's a very powerful move, especially for a ground type, because obviously you can hit anything with it basically. And one other thing is it can even hit Pokemon that are in the middle of Fly. So if Pokemon is flown up in the sky, Thousand Arrows will hit them, same with Bounce and same with Sky Drop. However, with Sky Drop, it won't bring them down to the ground; it'll just hit them. So, what, what, you know, what about this move particularly? Are we looking at? Well, it's the fact that it can hit Flying type Pokémon. Of the other two legendaries we have for the trio, one of them is part Flying type, Eveltal. Eveltal is a Dark Flying type, so it's likely because Zygarde, as we've heard, is supposed to balance the ecosystem, and it's supposed to sort of when Xerneas and Eveltal get out of control, we can assume it's supposed to balance out, balance out the process of life and death, so you know the ecosystem doesn't because. When you think about it, really, if life takes over, you get loads more life and then lo loads of more know, animals and stuff living on the ground, which is going to quickly run out the, you know, the planet's resources, as you can assume, or you know, take uh, inspiration from from the real world. You know, our population is growing; we have to learn to feed that population. So, obviously, if life, if death, you know, if death was defeated, basically, no one died, and there was loads more life around. Very, very quickly, the all the resources would get used up. Um, so that's not a good thing. And conversely, if death takes over and life is not really a thing anymore, everyone's going to die and there's going to be no one to live, you know? Um, so Zygarde is there to balance it out. So say, for example, death gets all, all powerful, you know? Death gets, you know, all, it's, it's defeated Xerneas, for example. Xerneas is no longer around, or, you know, Xerneas has been captured, maybe. So Eveltal, you know, then take, takes over. Zygarde a you know, comes up and appears just to sort of balance out the ecosystem. And how does it do that? With Thousand Arrows, because it can hit, you know, it can hit um, Eveltal with Thousand Arrows because it's a plot of flying type, but Thousand Arrows counteract that. So, if possibly in one of the games, for example, let's go for YZ, say that Eveltal is the main sort of legendary threat because it's defeated Xerneas or Xerneas has been captured by a successor to Team Flare, something like that. So Eveltal has to be defeated by Zygarde, so maybe we have to go to the cave, wake Zygarde up, or capture Zygarde to help us defeat Eveltal, and it does so by using its new form and Thousand Arrows. Conversely, if we then take a look at Thousand Waves, and look at what's about that, well, it's very similar, it doesn't have actually as much as special stuff. Um, basically, it, it's described as a wave that crawls along the ground, and foes hit can't flee from battle, so it's like... Um, Raw combined with a move, basically. Doesn't really, if, you know, sort of link to Xerneas as much as it did to Eveltal with the flying type, so it can't, I can't really draw any more inspiration from there, but possibly then Thousand Waves will be sort of the move to counteract Xerneas, something along those lines, who knows. It says it crawls along the ground. Xerneas, as we know, lives on the ground, so, you know, it'd be sort of, I guess, a perfect move to counter it, something along those lines. So maybe in the other game, where Xerneas has taken over and life is just going crazy, then we have to get Zygarde again and deal with Xerneas basically using the other form and the other wave, the other, you know, other move Thousand Waves. So that's one possible link about you know, the moves and the forms and the two different games. Of course, another reason why we're looking at sort of having two sequels rather than just the forms is because if we think back to Generation 5 where we had black and white. Everyone thought, okay, we've got a black and white, what's going to come next? Oh yeah, it's going to be grey, because black, white, grey, you know, that's obvious. We've had Ruby Sapphire, Emerald goes in the middle, we've had Diamond Pearl, Platinum comes in the middle. I just threw my mouse across the desk, we'll ignore that. Um, you know, and then other, you know, other games, Gold, Silver, Crystal, you know, basically we, we were used to this process of two games and then one sort of middle game as a sequel. However, Pokemon Grey did not happen. Instead we had Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2. Why was this done? Possibly just to change it, they felt like a change. They thought, you know what, instead of just making one sequel, we're going to make two. What benefits did this bring to the company? Well, they had two games to promote instead of just one, so it's sort of a bigger thing, I guess. But they're selling two games. I would say about maybe 50% of the Pokemon fans out there, at least, you know, the ones I know, I guess. You know, a lot of people I know, if, you know, if Pokemon Grey had just come out on its own, sure, we would have just brought Pokemon Grey. That's what, £30, $30, I don't know how much it costs in dollars, but you get the idea um, you've spent and given to Game Freak. However, when Black 2 and White 2 came out, I ended up buying both of them. I'm sure loads of other people ended up buying both of them as well. So that's double the money you've given to Game Freak. So if Game Freak made two sequels, 
they get double the money. And the thing with sequels like this, Black Turn White 2, they don't take twice as long to make. You can make the engine in the background, and then you just have to make slight changes in the plots, in the sort of the characters, in the areas. Very slight changes, obviously the amount of changes depends on you know, the game itself, but generally, you might it might take about 25% more work, but you're gonna get double the profit. So it in terms of looking at it from the Pokemon Company's t point of view, it's well worth it if from their eyes to if they can, if they can spare the workforce, to do double sequels rather than just a single one because they get double the money back basically so that's another sort of possibility there what i want to know guys is what do you think do you think we're just going to get the single pokemon z sequel with a mega zygarde or a particular zygarde form do you think we're going to get you know two games one based on a thousand arrows form one based on a thousand ways form or my final idea which i'm going to go through now is maybe they go back to what they did in Generation 5 and have Zygarde fuse with either Xerneas or Eveltal. I don't think they will do this because they only did it last generation so it would be a bit, bit of a, oh this again, come on now, you know, it would be a bit too too soon I guess. Um, but here's you know, two ideas, these were leaked ages ago and they were like, oh my god look at these games leaked, but yeah it was obvious to say. Um, you can see here uh, sort of a, a proposed you know, sort of form if Xerneas merged with Zygarde and um, one if Eveltal merged with Zygarde. Maybe they wouldn't do it to this quite extent, maybe he would just have some sort of Xerneas' powers helping you defeat Zygarde, um, Eveltal, or Eveltal's helping you defeat Xerneas, something like that, um, rather than just pure fusion. But again, there's another possibility there, just to have them fuse together and help defeat you know, the, the more powerful one, the one that's messing up the ecosystem, because that's what the Zygarde is all about, that's what I assume the sequel or sequels will be about you know balancing out the ecosystem. Of course I might talk about that in other videos as well. So if you guys do have any other ideas on what I could cover, do you want me to cover what I think the plot line is going to be for these games? Do you want me to cover anything else what I think they might do for the after game, what I think that the enemy team might be, gym leaders, you know, whatever you get you guys want to hear about. Do you want to hear about how the Kalos region is going to change, what things I might think might change in the region, anything like that guys, let me know down below what you want to see because I'll make it for you. But also let me know what you think of the sequels, you know, we're going to get one, we're going to get two, and what sort of the forms going to be based on. They're going to be based on the two moves, are they going to be based on Xerneas e Veltal, something like that. Let me know down below guys, and I guess I'll see when I read through the comments. But for now, I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye my friends.